We here in the Northwest pride ourselves in our political correctness. But needless to say, in doing a sketch comedy show like this one, it's next to impossible to please everyone. So, in the style of the network rating system, we here at Almost Live have started our own PC rating system. Here's how it works. When you see the letters B, R, S flash into your screen, that means the sketch is bordering on a racial stereotype. S, X means a sexist sketch. M, L, B, male bashing. F, L, B, female bashing. G, A, L, Z, B, gay or lesbian bashing. C, A, N, cruelty to animals. B, L, S, blasphemy. K, S, P, A, S, kissing our sponsor's ass. P, I, M, P, C, L, pimping local celebrities. P, S, P, F, pandering to sports fans. P, A, O, U, H, F, passive aggressive. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? And our personal favorite, F, R, F, T, C, C, T, S, I, N, F, M, O, F, W, N, B, H, 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 meaning free trip for the cast and crew. The sketch really isn't that funny. Matter of fact, it was written the night before. <laughs> now, whenever a new sketch starts that may fit into one of these categories, a rating will flash on your screen. And now it's time for our first sketch, O'Reilly Goldstein, King Dome Rat Catcher. Tonight's special guest, Mike Lowry as Biff the Promise Keeper, brought to you by Tim's Cascade Chips. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God, that African-American, Swedish, Samoan, Eurasian, bisexual broad, she should have been here an hour ago with my grits and strudel. Hey, you promise keepers, shut up, stop crying, you bunch of sissies. Oh, you rat bastard, I got you this time. <laughs> I got him. Oh, shut up. Wazoo in the Rose Bowl? Uh, the last time that happened, I believe the earth had just recently cooled. Uh, the quarterbacks didn't have opposable thumbs yet, and the offensive line couldn't quite walk upright. I guess that's still true, actually. I believe we have some footage of the last time uh, the Cougars were in the Rose Bowl. Don't we have that? Here? Yeah, there we go. Different game back then, you know? <laughs> Helmets didn't even have the face masks. Now, as you remember, Wazoo became a dry campus this year. Now, <laughs> call me Kreskin, but uh, I'll bet that rule has been suspended tonight. <laughs> bring it back around January 2nd. You know, I just want to say, speaking as a Husky, I'd like to say congratulations, Cougs, and Bring the roses home to Pullman. <laughs> Lord knows the place needs some brightening up. Ah. <laughs> She's a lot of love in this room. A lot of validation for that. Yeah. Well, 
<clears throat> with all the excitement about the Apple Cup, no one seemed to notice that the, uh, the president was in town today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He uh, spoke at the Seattle Center, then hosted a $5,000 a plate dinner. $5,000 a plate. Must have been at the Space Needle. Because <laughs> <laughs> with the presidential discount, I think that's about right. Either that, either that or he didn't order the appetizer. So. <laughs> There was, though, a tense moment during the presidential motorcade as they were going past West Seattle. A man jumped out of a car and he hit the limo with a baseball bat. He said the president had left the turn signal on for like about six blocks. So, <clears throat> alert Secret Service agents wrestled the man to the ground and then shot him in the butt, which is just how we do things around here. President, obviously, no stranger to political scandals, and we've got our fair share around here, too, and one of them has led to a new TV show that's as fresh as yesterday's headlines. Hello, I'm Wendell Brown. You may remember me as the Pierce County Councilman who was caught in the prostitution sting. Or so they thought. In reality, I was conducting my own investigation, and the jury believed me because it was true. Since then, I've led a one-man crusade against crime that's launched a new TV show. Wendell Brown, Investigator. My first investigation took place at a store near my house. I noticed that the security was very lax in the candy department, so I decided to run a test. Fortunately, an officer noticed. I introduced myself and commended him on his quick response. I went out to call for backup. And believe me, I won't rest until we get tough on shoplifting. <laughs> My next investigation took place downtown. I'm running at 600 bucks. I don't got you. I got 500. Deal. All right, there's going to be a party tonight. Thanks, sir. Right. Police officer, you're under arrest. Luckily for me, some undercover agents joined my investigation. Oh, thank gosh you're here. Boy, I'll tell you, there's drugs all over the place. We can go at them as a team. We're a team, right? OK, guys. OK, good job. Remember, just say no to drugs. Of course, before you say no, you got to know that there are drugs there. I mean, yeah, if you don't know there are drugs, you can't say no. Doesn't make sense. And did you know a car is broken into every two minutes? Ooh, a Sony. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Our camera's low. Drop the crowbar. Oh, okay, sure. Put your hands on top of the car. What please. a misunderstanding. And Officer saw... Jones okay, didn't sure. understand that I was I'm Councilman Wendell Brown, Wendell Brown conducting my own investigation into car theft. You have the right to remain silent. You're right. Good. Ooh, good police response. Good. I wasn't sure if the, the police, that's what I was testing. See if the police would come. That's great. Thanks to my efforts, they added extra security to that parking garage. Okay, now I wanted to, you know, sort of hard, not really. My last not investigation sure. led to a cheap okay, motel. That's great. So, oh, uh, surprise! Happy birthday to you. Yeah, I heard the guys down at the station saying it was the birthday, so I wanted to be here. That's why I'm here. It's a You're under surprise arrest. party. So Sir, we all went down to the station, and I had a great time with my friends, the police. Okay. So remember, wherever there are hookers, wherever there are unlocked doors, wherever there are cheap motels. I will be there. Wendell Brown, investigator. Hello there, and thanks for joining us on Today Tonight. My guest is Floyd Ossenmacher, the author of a new book, Mr. Magnetic, My Secrets to Attracting Thousands of Women. Well, welcome, Mr. Ossenmacher. Hi. <laughs> So you are Mr. Magnetic. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, how uh, exactly did you get that nickname? Well, it's uh, just something that the women have always called me. <laughs> I see. Are you sure you didn't work in a compass store at some time or something? Uh, no. I don't remember that. <laughs> All right. Well, may I call you Floyd? I don't care. <laughs> Uh, Floyd. Yes. Floyd, I. Yes. Um, I'm going to ask you a question right now. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Now, tell me, what do you think is the most important part of a relationship between a man and a woman? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> communication, I guess. Okay. I. Uh, I see in your book here that you claim that women just won't leave you alone. Yeah, that's right. 
What, what do you think it is about you that attracts women the most? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> probably the uh, communication thing. <laughs> Now, Floyd. Yes. I'm. Uh, I'm going to be kind of blunt uh, here right now. You don't exactly look or act like the kind of guy who would attract thousands of women. What do you mean? Come on. I mean, you. You can't tell me nobody's ever told you that before. Uh, no. You're not pulling my leg, are you? Because see if you're. Mary. Mary, what are you doing here? Nothing. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that everything's okay. This is uh, Mary McDonald, everybody, our producer. Mary, I don't believe I've ever seen you come out in the middle of the show before. <laughs> really? Hmm. Hi, Floyd. Hi. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, um, why don't you come and check with me after the show and... I don't know. We'll see if you want anything then, okay? Oh, okay. Well, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, Floyd. Floyd? Yeah. Uh, is, is this uh, just a big put, put on here that... Uh, be because if you're, if this is a put on or something, Linda, Linda on camera too. What are you doing? Why are you taking a close up of Mr. Ozenmacher's crotch, Linda? Tilt the camera back up, please, back to his face. Thank you. Now, if we could just get back to the interview here. It's excuse me. Excuse me, ladies. La excuse me, excuse me. Let, let me uh, uh, remind the audience in general, please. Would you stay seated during the show? Oh, great. Here's Randy, our bisexual floor director. Randy? Oh, Randy. Hello, Floyd. Hello. Randy? Why are you on the set? Uh, are we on the air right now? Yeah, yeah, oh. we're on the air. Mm -hmm. Here's my card. Call me, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough for today. Linda, would you quit that? <laughs> Mr. Ozenmacher, thank you for the time today. <laughs> My God, are your eyes really that color blue, or are you wearing contacts? No, that's their natural color. Wow. <laughs> they are really stunning. Thank you. Are, are you hungry at all? Would you like to grab a bite to eat or something? Sure. Is the, is the show over? Who cares? I mean, I mean, yeah, I think so. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't think it's going. This is the late report. Well, the infamous blob building at the foot of Queen Anne Hill was finally demolished this week. One ugly white blob building down, yeah. one to go. <laughs> Seattle City Council members are pushing for a new policy that will dramatically reduce the number of city jobs that require a drug test before a person can be hired. The first position to be changed, Seattle City Council members. <laughs> Jody Roberts, former News Tribune reporter and amnesia victim, says, Having amnesia is a funny thing. I remember math and history, but not my name or my past. A few moments later, Roberts went on to say, Having amnesia is a funny thing. I remember math and history, but not my name or my past. As part of their holiday incentive program, the Bon Marche is offering $500 to employees who turn in other employees caught stealing. As well as the money, winners will also receive a, a reserved parking space marked Snitch of the Month. <laughs> Relationship expert John Gray will appear at the Paramount Theater December 5th to discuss his new book, Mars and Venus on a Date. 
Gray will also uh, give a sneak preview of his next book, Mars and Venus Fumble for Their Underwear and Try to Remember Each Other's Names. <laughs> An Oregon teenager says she lied to producers to get a free trip to Chicago to be on the Jenny Jones show on the topic of stop harassing my androgynous teen. She was immediately offered a spot on the Jerry Springer show on the topic of teens who lie to get on the Jenny Jones show. <laughs> well, Thanksgiving is next Thursday, which means that next Friday is the busiest shopping day of the year. As a public service, we at Almost Live have done some preliminary scouting at local stores and here is Pat Cashman with a look at some of the things we found. Pat? Hi, John. Uh, Pat, you know there's a little lever on the chair that you can... Oh. Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you come on up here? There, isn't that a lot better? That's handy. Great. Thanks for... All right, so what do you got? Well, John, I went to the toy store, and I would like to show you folks a few actual toys that are in the stores this year. Now, first of all, these lovable pound puppies need a home. This is probably the most urgent purchase you should make. I don't have to tell you what happens if they don't sell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here is the Play Doctor kit. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know about you, John, but when I was a kid, we didn't need a kit to play doctor. Yeah. Still, you know, this kit does about everything a doctor would need. Why, look, even a spatula. Uh you remember that episode of ER last season where they wheeled that guy in and had an oh, egg yeah. stuck to his face? Yeah, they got an Emmy Spatula for that. can yeah. come in pretty handy. Oh, yeah. Here's one for the girls. It's called Wedding Dream Bridal Jewelry. And look, there's a hairbrush, a mirror, a comb, lipstick, makeup, some tissues. Where's the jewelry? <laughs> oh. Apparently that's part of the dream. Apparently so. You know, the long-time most popular girls' toy, the Barbie doll, has been coming under a lot of fire lately for presenting kind of an unrealistic female physical image to young oh. girls, and that's why now there's Flatsy. <laughs> and there's the marketing slogan, she's flat and that's that. Now, <clears throat> as I remember, Bar Barbie had a uh, boyfriend, Ken, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, does Flatsy have a boyfriend? Yeah, Stubby. So, uh, he's... He's stubby. And that's that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know, boys love speed and they love racing toys. And uh -huh. here's one called Wall Racers. And it lets, lets you actually preview what you're going to be getting. Look, it says, try me. Turn package upside down and see the rolling action. Are you ready, John? I'm ready. Let's here, see it. Here we go. Isn't that a rush? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, wow. But I have to say, I'm mostly just very confused about what kinds of messages a lot of toys are sending to our young people. For example, you have a dog, he likes to bite and chew things. Here's a chew toy for him. That's Linus from Peanuts. What better object would you like your Rottweiler to learn to chew on than a small, frightened child? <laughs> And finally, last year's big seller was the Tickle Me Elmo, and now they're selling this one called Teach Me Elmo. But what's being taught here? Why is the word hand right there? <laughs> Looks like this year they're teaching Elmo how to tickle himself. Apparently so. Wow. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, government cable channel TVW produced a program that brought together four former Washington governors, Albert Rosalini, Dan Evans, John Spellman, and Mike Lowry. The part of Dixie Lee Ray was played by Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> this has been The Late Report. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back.